Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to create an Azure pipeline. Okay, in, in one of our previous videos in the playlist, we discussed about uh, introduction to Azure pipeline, what is pipeline and basic uh, terminologies that is associated with the Azure pipeline. And also we saw a video about introduction to YAML file, you know, what are the basics of it and how do we work with uh, YAML file and what are the basic concepts with regards to YAML file, right? So following with that, we'll, in this video, we'll see how to create a Azure pipeline using YAML. Okay, so there are two ways of creating it. One is using YAML and another one is using the classic editor. In this video, we'll just focus on how to create an Azure pipeline using YAML. Okay, so here I am. I am in the Azure DevOps site and I'm already in my project, which I've been using for demo purposes, project online DevOps demo. Here, if on the left hand side, if you look at here, like we have something called pipelines. So under pipelines, let's go and click on the first option pipelines. So currently I do not have anything uh, created. So this is the default page that will be visible for you. So here I can go and create a pipeline. You can create a pipeline or you can uh, you can organize it. You can either create a folder and organize it and you can also import a pipeline and there are uh, there's an option to manage security too. So do not worry about all these things. First, we focus on how to create our pipeline alone. So I'm going to create click on create pipeline. Here you can see there are a lot of options. It is asking where is your code? So where is the repository actually? So is it in Azure repos git? or is it in Bitbucket Cloud? Basically what all these are is, these are the version controls uh, in which your code will be maintained. So as of now, uh, we have stored our code in our basic codes in Azure repos, right? So let me click on this Azure repos git, the first option. And here you can search for your project. So here we have, a, we have only one project, right? Project Online DevOps Demo. So I'm gonna select that project. So here it is. So here it is. It is showing you a screen with review your pipeline YAML. Okay. So it actually created a YAML file. You can see it under project online DevOps demo. We have a file called azure pipelines.yaml.yml. Okay. So it created a basic YAML file for us. Okay. So with basic information like Python package, because this is our Python project. Okay. So that is why it is, it is showing python package and all so in case if you are creating for different uh, code like dotnet or node.js th the uh, yaml regarding to that particular uh, technologies will be displayed here okay so here it is so with for python this is the basic yaml file that will be created you can see we have different sections like trigger pool strategy uh, steps we'll discuss about all these uh, terminologies in our future videos for now we'll just focus on creating our pipeline okay so you can see it uh, on what folder do we need to create uh, trigger this we need to trigger it on our main branch right so trigger it under main and what is the pool so how does it actually run okay how does it run actually uh, when we create a pipeline and when we are running the uh, code like something is happening on the back end right so this is what is actually happening we have something called pool it is more like an uh, virtual machine image that is present on the back end on which your project or your code actually runs okay so we have a basic pool related information vm image ubuntu latest and here i have my python version as well so you can alter your python version according to your project needs okay and then you have something called steps under steps, you have something called task, inputs, specific version, display name, etc. And it also showed showed you, uh, it also created a few scripts here, like an iPhone script. It is trying to install, a, um, it is trying to upgrade the pip version and it is trying to install some requirement.txt. Again, it is trying to install the pytest. Okay, so these are the basic information that is actually given by default when you're creating a pipeline. For now, we do not want to run these scripts, right? So this is not associated to our projects. So what we will do is, uh, first we will remove this. This is. Let's go to our uh, repo, okay? If we go to our repo, so currently we have two uh, uh, programs here, right? One is command line arguments, 
compare to list let's try to run any of the program okay let's take compare to list so here it is so we have a script here right so under script we don't need this basically what you will input here is the command that you will put it in the command prompt for you to run a python program right so let's say python compare to lists dot py okay this will actually run your python program right so let's try to run this so uh, the display name would be run compare lists program okay we can give any display name under your choice so now i have made the change and now let's save you can save or either save and run so i'm clicking on save and run you can see there is a commit message so this uh, saving will commit your azure pipeline.yaml to the repository so it will trigger it to the uh, if, uh, main branch so here we are selecting commit directly to the main branch or create a new branch for this commit okay you can either follow anything but in general uh, in real time you know it's always a good practice to actually create a new branch and then uh, push it to master yeah where else here for th this is since since this is just a demo purpose i'm just directly committing it to the main branch so i'm clicking on save and run it is actually creating a pipeline for me so once the pipeline is created you can see this is our uh, job summary page okay so here you can see it it's it gives you a very detail about like um, who triggered this pipeline and what is the repository and what is the uh, commit code what is the main branch so it basically displays all the pipeline related basic information okay and then you can see under the bottom part we have something called jobs python which is giving a green tick for you because initially it was running you can see at the initial of at the start of this before right away after triggering the pipeline this tick mark is not available but once this is successful a green tick mark is available which indicates that this job ran successfully okay so now if i click on this the status is success okay you can see all the pipeline steps here right so what happens is initially uh this is this is my very first uh, step like initialize job okay so what's happening in the background like we saw a pool vm image and all right so those kind of basic details will be present here and all you do not need to worry about all these things as your uh, pipeline will take care of all these things and next you need to check out your uh, project to the main okay so you can uh, see all the steps uh, here like one by one what's happening uh during this checkout process you can look at here and you we you, we need to use python 3.9 right so it is in it has initialized a step for it here run compare list program right so we are we gave this python compare to list dot py right in our yaml file so what it did is it run our python program and it returned an output okay so it uh, so it says both the lists are not equal okay do not worry about the program we are just concerned about how the program is running right in the pipeline so this is how it is and finally post check post job checkout okay so these are basic default steps that will actually trigger in any pipeline here what we did is we just created a very single and basic pipeline this is the very easiest pipeline but in real time this is not how it will be okay so here we ra we ran only one simple program because i just want to show you like how pipeline works so i uh, took a simple program and try to explain you with a demo where else in real time this is not how it will happen so you will have a remote repository something like this okay where all your project entire code will be present you might have like tons of codes here um, based on the trigger that is made on a particular folder or a particular repository your pipeline will get triggered so basically it depends on the rules that you have set on your project okay so what you for now you do not worry too much just focus on the basics the, that is needed for you to understand how to create a pipeline and how to get started with it okay going forward we'll try to uh, uh, create maybe little complex pipelines and see how it is actually working okay for now this is how you need to create a pipeline okay so once you have created a pipeline you can uh, uh, 
you can save and run it instantly okay in real time it will run automatically based on the configurations that you have made um, and once the pipeline is successful you will get something like a green tick mark here where else if it is not successful okay whereas if it is not successful it will throw a, a wrong tick mark here wrong uh, symbol here in a red in, in a red highlighted icon which will indicate that pipeline is unsuccessful okay it is not run as as per our expectation and something has failed okay so this is how uh, we create a single pipeline and with this is how we create a basic azure pipeline and trigger it okay so you can see again this is a pipeline summary page it shows you the recent runs that we have made here here it is this is our pipeline project online devops demo and it shows you the last run like setup ci with azure pipelines so it ran four minutes ago so basic information it is showing here in if you need to look at it more in detail you can click on it and go and look at the st steps whatever we looked at it earlier right so you can go into the jobs again you can see all the steps okay similarly if you wanna so here we have something called branches okay so <coughs> excuse me so here we have something called branches because we have triggered it to the main branch only right so you can see the main branch related details here and we have few details analytics as well do not worry about all these things uh, once we have a complete uh, picture or a, like a massive project then it makes sense to actually look at through all these analytics for now just focus on basic things that should be more than enough for you to kick start and we'll dig into detail about how to work with Azure pipelines and we'll take some complex steps and all and we'll try to solve it in our upcoming videos all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you